Okay, so now let me tell you about the one time, the one time I tried to wear a wig and what happened to me at the airport. When I was installing my braid locks, it was like a Wednesday, I wanna say. I started installing them. I was off all day that Thursday. And for some reason, I just thought I would finish in one day. It turned out that it would take a couple of days for me to actually finish doing my hair, to get them small, try to get the parts right, all, all the labor that comes into trying to put 500 braids on your head. Um, because of that, I was still working. So I wanted to make sure that I looked decent to go to work. I actually had a speaking engagement. So I decided, you know, I could put something over my hair. Well, I, I don't wear wigs. I don't wear wigs. Um, didn't have any at the house. So I decided to run out to a beauty supply and buy a wig. I know very little about wigs. When I put this wig on, to me, I look like a dude with a wig. I don't know why other ladies can look absolutely gorgeous, so I'm not like knocking wigs. I'm just saying for me, I just look like a man with a wig on. With that said, I had all these braids in my hair. The top of the front of my hair was not completed, so I was determined I'm going to just rock this wig out. I, I didn't know them people. They weren't going to see me past the day. If I look like a dude with a wig on, it is what it is. So I just put a little makeup on and try to make it happen, you know. So I put the wig on, went to the speaking engagement. Now, I'm going to tell you what my, show you kind of what my hair looked like and how embarrassing this was for me. So the back of my hair had, um, I pretty much had finished the braids in the back. Um, they were very thin. If you, I'll insert a picture of how I ended up, how my hair ended up um, when I finished doing it. But the back of my hair was, was, was thin. Actually, when I finished, my whole head was thin. But the top of my hair still had, it was loose, but I had like, I had parted my hair in sections. And I had um, three or four huge braided sections. And I had them pent up, or I had them braided up, kind of like I'm braiding it now. And then I got a hairpin and just kind of laid them down. And this wig I bought, I put on top of it. And it was a wig with, I want to say it had like a drawstring, I think. Oh, sorry. I think it had like a drawstring um, that I thought, okay, so this, this is kind of how it worked. So I put this wig on, put these um, hairpins in my hair um, to hold the braids down. And I went on the speaking engagement. I'm like, okay, okay, I can, I can do this for this one speaking engagement. I'm walking down that long hall um, in the airport and I hear this lady saying like, excuse me, excuse me. So I don't know who's, you know, who's like talking, you know, who she talking to or whatever. So my hair kind of looked like, like this a little bit um because the pins were not staying down but again i have locks now so it's a little thicker but my hair kind of looked like this but the pins were not staying down the wig did a good job in my opinion of kind of holding it like a cap almost i almost felt like i had a baseball cap on so i'm walking anyway i'm walking down the um aisle of the airport and this lady's just you know keep saying excuse me and i finally turn around not because i thought she was talking to me but just kind of seeing you know who was talking to who you know or whatever so i turn around and it, it turns out she was talking to me she's like ma'am i'm sorry i think you forgot something right and i, I was like me she's like yeah no she said i think you dropped something i was like me she's like yes so i looked down the um hallway of the airport and this I don't see anything that I dropped, but she said, yeah, I think that's yours back there. So I, I see a black spot on the ground at the airport, but I don't see anything else. I don't think that that's what she's talking about, but she's sure that I dropped something. So I walked back down the uh, where I was in the airport and sure enough on the ground is my wig. So I'm walking down the airport trying to figure out why people are looking at me funny. I'm looking like this. I'm thinking I'm passing all these people. They're moving out of my way. Clearly they thought I was on drugs or something because I'm walking like this. Luckily, 
I was headed to the restroom. I'm going to tell you, first of all, I was embarrassed. But you know, by then I was tired. I had spoken all day. I just put the wig in my purse. Put these braids down and just kept going. I flew all the way home looking like this. And people moved out of my way when I wanted to sit down. I don't know if they were scared of me or they thought I was on drugs. But that was the last time ever and the only time I've ever worn a wig. My friend later told me that there was like some clips I was supposed to put in my hair. Um, I did not know that. And she was like, well, I can show you how. No, I was laughed at. I was embarrassed. And you know, you got to be bad when you're embarrassed. Like, thank you. So that is my story. That is the last time, uh, the only time I've ever worn a wig. Uh, I will never do it again. But it was interesting. It was, and, and sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. So that is my uh, story for wearing a wig. I kudos to you ladies that can wear a wig and they can keep it on and they can they can play it off because I see them and they're they look magnificent. I don't know why I look like a man in a wig, but I do. But one thing I do know is wigs are not for me. I finished my locks. I actually took off work because you know what? That wasn't going to happen again. I wasn't going to even risk actually going into the office and my hair fall off. So that is my story uh, of me wearing a wig um, in the airport and how it fell off and how I came home looking kind of scary. And again, this is a very not chocolate area of town in which I worked in and the airport in which I flew out of. So it was it was very interesting to see people's faces. But at that time, I'd worked all day. I didn't even care. I just had to rock it out. Anyway, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please put them in the description box. I would love to talk to you, love to hear you from you. Um, if there's something specifically you want me to talk about, please let me know to give me some content. But thank you so much for watching the video and I can't wait to talk to you again.